I want to ask even about the closer circles. Many times a person feels that he experiences all of this stress by himself, that there's no one. Of course, today we're very indifferent, even in the family compared to how it used to be. We think that in the past, people were cruder, and today we're more sensitive, more gentle as if, subtle. No, in the past, people were more concerned for their children, for their grandchildren. They thought about what's going to happen in a hundred and two hundred years. Today, no, I don't care what's going to happen in a year. I can see it on myself. People tell me, you know what's going to happen in a year? It doesn't do anything. I don't start shivering, feeling some kind of anxiety. Nothing. Whatever happens, happens. I live my life. I just exist. What actually causes this insensitivity in the family toward other people? We have to reach the recognition of the evil of our egoistic nature that doesn't care about anything. I'm living my life right now. Fine. What's going to happen tomorrow? I don't care. I don't have the ability, the strength to think about tomorrow because the real ego is adhered, cleaved on to the moment that it's living in right now. And it doesn't care about the next moment. It doesn't exist for it. And it's hard to believe that we're so deaf, so foolish. But this is how it is. It's interesting. I don't feel this 30, 40, 50 years ago. I remember 50 or 60 years ago, I was a young boy. Things weren't this way. People cared about the future of the world, how are things going to be, this, that. In general, these were years of advancement, development after the Second World War. In America, in Europe, in Japan, People were thinking about the future, putting a man on the moon. We just celebrated the 50th anniversary of that event. But today... Okay. From this point where we understand that we have reached a dead end, that we can't come out of ourselves and make things better, how can we draw a better, more correct picture? We can't, because nothing moves us. We're not impressed by anything. It all depends on man's nature. Man has to say, that's it. From this point on, I have to correct the world, myself, do something, so that tomorrow I won't die of cold or heat or tsunami or hurricanes or who knows what. I have to do something. And we're not moving. 